just move in. The envelope page. I cheated slightly with this one. I bought one of the Seven Gypsies black um, envelope wallet albums, um, but really wanted to use it as a template rather than make an album from it. I haven't done that yet. Whether I do or not, I don't know. Anyway, size-wise, I thought that was that would make a nice dimension to the book. So sizes for that are a I don't know which way to put this up. Piece of card, eight inches width of all the pages that I've made in the book by nine and three quarter inches. I scored it at four and a half from the edge and then I scored it at nine inches. And then smooth the folds with my bone tool. Fold over. And step that flat down. But before I did that, I cut the flap out of a piece of card that is four and a half inches wide, same width as one side of the envelope, four and a half inches long, and then just shape the edges. I shaped one edge and then used that piece I cut off to shape the other edge. And I stuck that, well, scored it actually, at three quarters of an inch, and stuck that inside the envelope base before I stick the envelope together to give the flap. And that's what it looks like. And then just made the... Okay. Um, basic pages, I used quite a few of these. Just the standard base, eight inches by six and three quarter inches. Cutting the corners off. with my favourite punch. And then cutting an overlay, and I did cut this in various sizes, again sticking it three quarters of an inch from the whole punch edge of your page to form another pocket. And they can be as short or as long as you like, and that just gives you another dimension to be able to put photo mats in. So this one I cut at five inches by six and three quarter inches and stuck it three quarters of an inch from the left hand side, hole punch side, and then decorated this space here. Okay. And then I think the last page was my back page, as I've called it. Again, simple, simple, start off with the base page. Eight inches by six and three quarters with the corners cut. And then an overlay page. Again, A4 size. I'm not sure if you can see all of that. A4 size, which is 11 and 3 quarter inches in length, and I cut it 7 inches wide, but you could cut at any dimension. I scored it at 4.5 inches from the top, folded that over, flattened the fold, and then scored it again at two and one eighth inches from the bottom. And then I placed it on the page about a quarter of an inch from the edge here. 
but again gave myself enough space to put the eyelets on on the punch side. And then I cut the corners off. This was a random cut. And then I cut one corner off and used that corner, flip it over to cut the other side. I'm left handed so it always looks very awkward. <laughs> Brilliant on the cutting. Just to give that that flap. And then I um, used a Martha Stewart punch just to cut the edge here. Stuck down the two sides and that gave me the flat page. And then I put the backs on and uh, just the black moon that I'd silvered on the edge. This little piece inside was four inches by four inches and the photo mats are three and a half by three and a half. Again, cut with my edges or corners are cut with my Toxic Studio punch. And decorated. And that, ladies, is all there is to it. Thanks for watching.